I'm Bill from Hitch Rider Racks. Today's video is about our one track tilting rack. I'm going to show you how to adjust the rack. I'm going to show you how to load your trike onto the rack and fasten it down. I'm going to show you how to tilt it down once the trike is loaded. And then I'll show you how to fold the rack up when the trike is removed. As you can see, the rack has already been pre-assembled. And the base is installed in the hitch. The hitch pin is tightened up. As far as adjustments go, the entire rack mainframe will slide to the left or the right. I've left it loose so we can adjust it. And each wheel holder will adjust in and out. Loosen the D-bolt, slides in and out. Okay, the first track we're going to load today is the Katrike Villager. It's a tadpole track, two front wheels and one back wheel. I've already pre-adjusted the rough adjustments on the rack where I have the two uh, dual wheel holders equally spaced in the middle and I have the single wheel holder so that it matches the wheel base of the trike. And as far as left and right positioning of the mainframe, the best place to position the mainframe for a tadpole is to leave one inch space between the U-channel with the carriage bolts and the mainframe of the uh, trike rack. So that's what I've left here. U-channel, mainframe, one inch of space. So let's see how close I've got. Here we go. And it looks like the adjustments are good. The wheels are centered in the wheel holders. All three of them. Okay, after the track has been placed on the rack, you need to fasten all of the straps to secure the track to the rack. And when you fasten the rubber wheel straps, uh, the third hole is okay or the fourth hole is okay. And I'm going to choose the fourth hole for this track and a small tire. Uh, there's no point in trying to overstretch the strap. It doesn't hold your track any better. So don't make that... Uh, that mistake to stretch it too tight. So this one's fastened. I've taken the cinch strap and the cinch strap is a safety strap. It goes around the frame of the trike and then it goes around the main frame of the rack. Sometimes the strap will be too long for your particular application so in that case you just take an extra wrap around the main frame and that will take up the slack in the strap so it's nice and tight and it's not flopping around. And I fastened the rear wheel of the trike, I fastened the two rubber straps. The cinch and wrap strap simply wraps around this piece of metal and the whole tire. It's just, you just wrap it around. And if you look at the inside dual wheel holder, I fastened the strap the same way. It's in the fourth hole and it's fastened the same as the strap on the other dual wheel holder. Okay, now I'll show you how to tilt the rack down. You lift up on the outside wheel holder, you remove the snap lock pin, and you pull back on the link convenience latch handle. And you slowly lower the rack down until it gets to the stop. And you can see there's plenty of room to walk between the vehicle and the rack. So you can open the hatch on the back of your vehicle and get access to the vehicle. If you've got a vehicle with a tailgate, you can lower the tailgate down. And you might also notice that we could actually reverse this procedure. Instead of starting out with the rack up and loading and tilting down, we could just, with the rack tilted down, we can load the trike and then tilt it up. So either way works, whichever works best for you is, is the one to use. So to tilt it back up, you get a hold of the outside wheel loader, you pull it up until the convenience latch clicks into place. And once it clicks into place, you reinstall a snap lock pin. And that's an important thing to notice because you always have that snap lock pin installed whenever you're carrying a load on the rack. It's just an extra safety. Okay, the next track I'm going to load is a Delta track. And this is a Delta track. The Delta has two back wheels and one front wheel. And this is simply an adult track. Uh, it's heavier than a it's a heavier trike, so we want to be able to load it one end at a time instead of having to lift the entire trike up. 
So you'll notice I've installed a wheel holder for the single wheel at about a 45 degree angle. And, and then you also notice that I've moved the entire mainframe to the left so it'll center the trike on the back of the vehicle. And I've left one foot of distance between the T on the mainframe and the end of the U-channel where the uh, carriage bolt is. So one foot here, 45 degree angle. I have measured the track and I've measured the wheelbase. So the track is set up to match the track on the back of the trike. And the wheelbase is set up to match the wheelbase of the trike. So now we're going to load the trike. The wheel holders are all adjusted. And to load, you simply pick up the front wheel and you walk the trike up. You place the front wheel in the wheel holder and you fasten all of the wheel straps. And here I'm going to choose the third hole. I'm not, I don't want to overstretch the strap. And then for the cinching wrap, you simply go around the rim and the tire and the wheel holder. Pull it tight and you wrap it. The wheel holder secured. You walk around to the back end of the trike, you pick it up, and you just simply walk it around. And you notice the front wheel just steers while you're walking it around. And you lower it down onto the rack. Okay, I've installed the safety cinch strap around the main frame of the rack and around the frame of the trike. I've fastened the remaining two wheel holder straps. And now I'll show you how to tilt it back. You pick up on the latch, you remove the snap lock pin, you pull back on the latch lever, and you slowly lower it down to the stop. And as you can see, there's plenty of room to get in and out of the back of your vehicle for access. If you've got a tailgate, you can lower the tailgate down and get in that way. To raise the rack, you simply get a hold of the outside wheel holder. You raise it up until the snap lock pin snaps into place. And then you install the snap lock pin. When you're not carrying a cycle, you should fold the rack up so it doesn't stick out as far in the back. To fold it up, you remove the snap lock pin and you just fold it up. Reinstall the snap lock pin. And that's it. There you go. Thanks a lot for watching our video today.